G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing my tips for round 23 of the season. Whew, what a week last week was. Uh, pretty brutal. Uh, did not not go to plan uh, as expected there. Just the two after having three weeks in a row. It was seven. Uh, back, to, back to where I potentially have been for most of the season. Up the top of the table, though, we've got Langs on top. I think we've got four sitting at 123, but uh, Langs sharp on the margins, getting it done there. Um, it's going to be yeah, a crazy couple of weeks coming up. Do not want to put a foot wrong. But uh, as with my score, I might kick down the corridor a little bit more than normal here because uh, I'm going to go down swing by 10 goals or I could uh, narrow the margin a little bit, which I'd rather uh, try and win the game, even though I've probably left uh, my run a little bit too late. But it is what it is. Uh, let's have a look. Friday night... But even with me kicking down the corridor, there's always stacks of upsets right at the end of the season for various reasons. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're at that weird time of year. Start of the year and end of the year, it's just normally a heap of chaos. But let's go to Friday night. We've got Essendon and Sydney at Marvel Stadium. What a game this will be. Uh, the Bombers, they went down to the Suns by point after Siren dropped that one and did not get the chocolates. Sydney... Got a win with a, a late surge in the final quarter. Literally, if Heaney and Warner and Goulden are quiet, so are Sydney. Uh, I guess you can say about a few teams. But, yeah, it took them to lift to get them over the line. I think Sydney win this game. going to be pretty close, though. I'm going to go seven points. I think I, seven of their last nine games or something like that, they've been really close, uh, under 10 points. I think the Bombers would give them a big scare, though, and it's not going to be easy at all. But Sydney need a win to secure their top spot, I think, or at least get close to that, secure top two. Over to People First Stadium, we've got Gold Coast and Melbourne. And Gold Coast, yeah, a nice win after the siren there from Mac Andrew. And Melbourne got pretty close to Port. Uh, not a great game to watch, but uh, they went down by a couple of points at the MCG. I think, yeah, Gold Coast get the job done here. Uh, it's all happening at Melbourne. Uh, chaos everywhere with their list, their direction, and just the, the culture of the club at the moment. But I think, yeah, Gold Coast at home have proven to be pretty tough this year just by pure percentages. I reckon they get the job done. We then go over to NG Stadium and GWS hosting Fremantle. Uh, the GWS Giants, I was about to say the Gold Coast Giants. They have been in really good touch. I think they won the last six or something to that effect. They're coming home with a rush. Uh, the Dockers, they've lost a couple in a row. They went down to the Cats at Optus Stadium. Giants, uh, they had, I think they had a good win. Remember, they did have a very good win. 18-point win over the Lions. So there you go. Johnson, red hot touch, uh, tough to beat at home. I think they get the job done here. But uh, yeah, Freo, no stranger to winning over there. Um, would be, yeah, it's a much needed win. But yeah, Freo could bundle out of the eight, all depending. But I think, yeah, the Giants just in great touch. We go to the MCG and Collingwood, Brisbane, a grand final rematch. Uh, although it's pretty different from the Pies landscape at the moment there. Sitting outside the eight and almost mathematically impossible to make it, I would have thought. I think uh, a lot of things have to go uh, against the opposition, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it all goes. Pretty unlikely from here. Um, yeah, I think, well, Colin, they went down to the Swans, a uh, couple of points in it. They led for most of the game and probably deserved the win. I tipped them as well, and that didn't go my way, but that's all right. Those are the most frustrating ones as well, by the way. When you, you've tipped the upset, the upset's playing really well, and then they fall in a heap for 20 minutes, and then they lose that game, even though they dominated the game for 90 minutes. But uh, anyway, I'm not salty at all. Brisbane also had a loss. Uh, they went down to the Giants by 18 points. I think, yeah, Brisbane, final way to get it done. Their record at the MCG is not great. Uh, it was just four points in the grand final, but... Yeah, Pies clearly a long way off that. A fair few injuries. Brisbane have been in really good touch. Um, Giants got them by clearance, and really they didn't. Uh, they didn't get the scoreboard ticking over the way they would have liked to have early in the game when they had uh, ascendancy. Over to Marvel Stadium at Saturday night game. Saints up against the Cats. 
St Kilda, they had a win over the Tigers. They played re- reasonably well. Uh, Geelong, very brave over in the West and yeah, came home with the four points. So that was a massive result for the Cats in terms of them being able to solidify a spot in the finals and yeah, a look towards top four and see how it all goes in there. But uh, yeah, I think we're looking good for finals. Uh, this has got Banana Peel game written all over it. I don't know why and I, I really hope I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to take the Saints here in a bit of an upset. I don't know why. I, I don't think we've been going amazingly well, but yeah, I mean, that Dogs game might be an outlier. It's really hard to say. But I think, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a, a crazy result somewhere. And, yeah, the Saints have done it before. It's a bit of a, yeah, any given Sunday kind of uh, year. And I'll go the Saints. Over to Port Adelaide and Adelaide. We've got to the, trying to think of what, what, what we've got here. The showdown, that, that's what it's called. Uh, that old trick. Uh, Port Adelaide, they had a good win well, over Melbourne, they, they found a way to win at the MCG. Every team away on Saturday won, which was unbelievable. And the Crows have been in pretty decent touch. Three of their last five, and they played quite well. I'm trying to think of the team they played against. The Doggies, very good win. Uh, I'm going to go with the Crows. Their, their record of late in showdowns has been amazing. And Port Adelaide, yeah, maybe just might get a little sharpen up. They've been you know, on a pretty good run. I think, uh, yeah, it could be a little bit upsetting. And Crows late in the season are very dangerous. We've seen that the last three or so years. Over to the Sunday games, and we've got the Western Bulldogs and North Melbourne. The Doggies got touched up by the Crows over there uh, and went down, I think it was about 40 or so points in the end. North Melbourne, oh, my goodness. They they had it. They had it 13 points with a minute and a half to go, and they blew it. Um over in Blundstone against the Eagles, so that was a poor loss in the end. Doggies have been, yeah, in pretty good form, I must say, and I reckon they'll get the job done here, although North will definitely give them a good run for their money. We then go to the MCG, Hawthorne and Richmond. The Hawks, they went down at the MCG and got the job done over the Blues, very convincingly. They went down to the MCG, they didn't lose. Uh, the Tigers, they did lose to the Saints at Marvel pretty comfortably. Hawks are in red-hot touch. They'll get the job done. Tigers, lots of injuries. I think they'll struggle there. Final game around them. What a spicy game this is. And the betting markets and who's tipping who is quite interesting. Uh, but the Eagles, they had a, their second win on the trot. Uh, great win in Tassie over North in the end after being down by 35 points. Carlton just has fallen apart for them really in, in the last six or so weeks with the, all the injuries and yeah lack of cohesion they've had. They've yeah injuries when you have a lot of them to a lot of your stars it definitely hurts. Uh, I'm going to go West Coast here at home if you have no Colonel Mackay uh, and you've got plenty of other injuries going on. I I just don't see how it's it's feasible. But yeah look it's not impossible. West Coast are far from invincible. Uh, and could be flaky and be happy with themselves after a couple of wins. But, yeah, look, they're certainly up against it. I have to go over there and, yeah, find a way just to keep their finals aspirations alive. I mean, they're out of the eight. Uh, that, that's the reality, so that they have to win. Uh, but, yeah, the Eagles would, you know, if they can disrupt Carlton from making finals, I'll definitely do so. Okay, let's have a look. So we've gone Sydney by seven points on the Friday night. We've gone Gold Coast, GWS, Brisbane, St Kilda, Adelaide. A couple of upsets in there. There's always upsets. Uh, Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne, and the West Coast Eagles. All right, that's all from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Chuck down in the comments here. Think it's going to win over the weekend. Get amongst the tipping competition. Uh, give the video a like and subscribe away. All that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in, crew. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the next video.